I have one o'clock on the dot. So as I said, we're going to begin here a little bit about why engage in social media. You ask, why should you attend such a presentation? I don't need or use social media. Well, that's the one reason you should pay attention here today. What is social media? Why do I care? You use some form of social media every day. We'll be talking about the different types and forms of social media takes. You will also take and get more information of what you need and want without having to endlessly search to find it. You don't have to sign up for Facebook to engage, or Twitter to engage in social media, but we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages to help you plan your strategy. We will talk about the different types of social media to target the information you want and need. So hopefully here's some good discussion uh, today. And if you ask the question, hopefully I will see it and we can go from there. Uh, what we're going to do here is to warning. Just to let you know, I am not an expert on social media. Uh, this is my collections of opinions, ideas, and research uh, so that I'd pass it along. But again, if I recommend any programs or anything, you know, make sure you understand that there are risks associated with everything. What is social media? What is it? Why do we care? Do we care? And you have to sort of imagine those bullets coming in, but better work too well on this. Okay. Social media is like teen sex. Everybody wants to do it, but no one knows how. Let's look at a definition. Okay. This is the definition from Wikipedia. It is it's quite complex and very difficult to understand. But social media has been modernized to reach consumers in a new way. Through the Internet, uh, social medias have been be becoming to appeal to big and small businesses. Credible brands are using social media to reach customers and to build or maintain their reputation. As social media continues to grow, the ability to reach more consumers globally has also increased. This means that the brands you are now that are able to advertise in multiple languages and therefore reach a broader group of consumers. Social media may have become the new tool for effective marketing and sales. Popular networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter, uh, Instagram, are social media is most commonly used for socialization, connectivity, friends, relatives, and employees. Okay. Social media, as you can see here, is to have three parts, three components. Concept, which is the art, the information, or the meaning. Then you have the media, physical, electronic, or verbal. And then you have social interface. Intimate, directly communicating engagement, social viral, electronic broadcast and syndication, other type of social media, physical media such as print. Okay, in other words, what it is is you have some sort of media, you're concepting a message, and it's social so that you are interacting with other individuals. Okay, what is social media? The best way to find it is to break it down. Media is an instrument of communication. Like a newspaper or radio, we do social media would be social instrument of communication. And web... 2.0 terms, this would be a website that doesn't just give you information, but it interacts with you while giving you that information. This interaction can be as simple as asking for your comments or letting you vote on an article, or it could be as complex as Flipster, recommending movies to you based on the ratings of other people with similar interests. Think of regular media as a one-way street where you can read a newspaper or listen to a report on television. But you have the limited ability to give your thoughts on the matter. Social media is, on the other hand, a two-way street that gives you the ability to communicate too. Okay. Sorry. Okay, uh, 
let's go back here. You know, social. Some examples of social media is social bookmarking sites. Some of these are still around. Some of these are not. The interact. These are social bookmark sites where you interact by tagging websites and searching through websites bookmarked by other people. Okay, you got social news sites interacted by voting on articles and commenting on them. Then you got social networking sites, which is probably the most people are filled with Facebook, Twitter, interacted by adding friends, commenting on profiles, joining groups, or having discussions. Then you have social photo or video sharing. YouTube, Flickr, Instagram, interacted by sharing photos or videos and commenting on user submissions. And then you got the wikis, interact by adding articles and editing existing articles. And these websites are not only for social media websites. Any other website that invites you to interact with them on the site can fall in the definition of social media. Now that we've answered the question of what is social media, we can move on to some of the social media websites. Because social media is such a broad term, it covers a large number of websites. But the common link between these websites is you've been able to interact with the website and interact with other visitors. Uh, the visitors. Uh, again, I'm talking about websites, but again, you can do this from your iPhone, your regular phone. Uh, your iPad, your laptop, desktop. And um, you can uh, do it from most anywhere. So that's the reason the social site has become very popular and a lot popular with the new, with the new phones that you can interact with us and get information uh, from other sites. Let's look at some of the different sites of uh, social media websites. Okay, kind of click on the right button here. I apologize. Social media. Okay, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. I think Justin Timberlake's taken that over and done it, but it may be coming back. Uh, uh, what is, oh, you got Google Plus. You've got Instagram, you've got LinkedIn, you've got YouTube, and you know you could probably name some others. Okay, that you have that. Then we have the the mobile, the Foursquare, which is checking in Yelp, texting, IMing, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about email. Just emailing is a way of social communicating between people. Then you've got the music. Uh, you download the sites, but there are sites that allow you to comment on the music, find out what your friends are listening to, and it will give you suggestions based on that. Okay, if some of you have seen a presentation that I've done in the past, this slide shows up an awful lot. Uh, like Twitter. Uh, it's basically defined as, I'm eating a donut. Uh, Facebook says, I like donuts. Foursquare is, this is where I eat donuts. Instagram is, here's a vintage photo of my donut. YouTube, here I am eating a donut. Lincolnton, my skills include donut eating. Pinterest, here's a donut recipe. Last FM, now listening to donuts. And Google Plus. I'm a Google employee who eats donuts. Let's talk a little bit about some of the social sites. I'm sure everybody has heard of Facebook. Um, APC UG manages a Facebook site. Uh, you can go to that at, at facebook.com APC UG. And we'll see a picture of that in just a minute. Uh, different clubs have Facebook. So you can um, see from there. Okay. Also, Twitter. I got this set up uh, so you can sort of see what Twitter is. This I set up as a as a CICUG site. It, uh, this is an older picture, but it depicts some of the things you can get 
from Twitter, it, you got the messages, you got the <laughs> who's following you, who's not, and it gives you uh, a short information about what's going on. Okay, and you got photo video sites, which you can upload pictures. pictures. Uh, Flickr is one. You stream your old videos. You also have Instagram. Some of the picture sites now are getting very, very popular. Of everybody uploading pictures of what's going on. Instagram and a lot of people using YouTube for for videos. Okay. We're twenty odd slides in, and I've not talked about why you should engage in social media. Hopefully now that I've explained what social media is, you can see some added value. Um, I said hopefully you know you can see some value value, but what are the tools to use? Let's talk a little bit about some of the specifics. Here's what social media users want. Uh, this is a little difficult probably to see. But if you can, uh, we'll get you can have get download the the PowerPoint presentation after this from the website. You can check this out. But here are the different types of people that use it. You can see that Facebook. You got shopping. You have uh, tech. You have uh, community, and the different people use uh, these different media's by. Uh, for different reasons. Uh, so from when I got to chat, uh, MySpace and Dig are probably not as popular. They they come and go, but Facebook and Twitter has been around for a while. Okay, word of mouth. Is it is not two way communication better than top down? With social media, you can choose what you want, where, and when. Um. Companies, advertisers want to engage you. And I could go on, but you are in control with social media. Okay, let's talk a little bit about if if I could interact, I would show you, uh, talk a little bit about Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So let's just go on and I'll show you. It's Facebook. It's not a uh, the greatest picture in the world. But they've got a single timeline. Uh, what the purpose of Facebook is is to be able to communicate with your friends and get information. Uh, so Jim Evans puts on a fabulous wow. program about using Facebook. A lot of people fear Facebook because of the, the giving out the information. Uh, with Facebook, if you set the priority settings, you can have it so only people that you approve of or your friends can see this information. And if you can't trust your friends, I don't know who you can trust. But again, Facebook is not to put information on that's, that's private. You wouldn't say, hey, I'm at uh, Western Bank drawing out $100,000 for my checking account. I want to walk through this dark alley. Uh, over here to uh, buy a new car. I mean, those are things you don't post because that's welcoming. Uh, but you know, you'd post you know that you went to and saw an interesting play. Uh, you could post that you went and uh, visited with your grandkids. But another good thing about Facebook, you can get by and use it exclusively without even having to post very much. As you can see, I've got in here, we've got PC Magazine, we've got uh, different radio make use of, C, uh, CNET, and another PC. What you do is you go to brand pages or pages that you want to get information from, and you like that page, uh, which is basically going in and clicking on the like button, which means now that whatever that page post will fall into your timeline and you can see what they're talking about. 
Uh, and again, one of these things, if you put something in, you don't like it, you can go back and unlike it, and it won't show up anymore. Um, and this is a good way of finding out what is going on, because they usually provide, with the information, they'll provide a one or two sentence things of what's going on, and they'll provide a link. So this way, you'll have the opportunity to be able to say, hey, uh, here's a review of the latest uh, uh, Windows 8 laptop. Let me go see what they have to say about it. And you click on it, and it takes you to their, their website, and you get more information. If you don't like the, you know, if you don't want to read about it, then you don't click. Um, and this puts you in control. And if you happen to like the review, then you come back, you can like it to let people know that you like it. You can share the information, which means that you post that so all your, your people in your network can see. So you can recommend this. Um, I had a couple articles that I uh, read about the new Galaxy S4 coming out. And I thought they were interested, so I posted and made several comments that I'm thinking about getting one. And a couple of people like that because, you know, I'm sharing information that I think my friends would like. And again, this also works the other way around, that your friends are finding information, posting information that you would think you would like. Uh, it could be your, your brother or sister or grandkids posting information about what they're doing in college or football or what's going on that's something you would be interested in. Or it could be your buddy at the, the bowling alley uh, posting pictures about the latest, newest bowling balls. So you can get information, and you're not really having to divulge any information about yourself but other than what you like and read. Now, if you notice when you're on the web, and I don't have a picture here, I apologize, that when you read an article, usually there's an article, there's usually beside it, you can post it, that you can post it to Twitter, Facebook, Google, Dig, Instagram, or other places. And you reading an article you think your friends would like, this would give you the ability to uh, go in and share that article, and it will show up on your page. And one of the other things that talk about a little bit about Facebook is that you can have your friends grouped into groups. So you can have a technology group, you can have a high school group, you can have a college group, you could have a, uh, a knitting group, so that you can just click and get the information that's relative to what you want to get without having to read through everything. Um, and you can put people in many different groups that's so you can see what's going on. But this way, again, you're in control of the information you get. But by looking in one place, you're able to gather a whole lot of information from a whole lot of different sources. And by your friend sharing or you sharing with your friends, you're splitting up the time of what you want to look at on the web, and you're only sharing stuff that is interesting. Okay. Uh, looking, uh, we don't have any questions yet. Okay. Twitter. Now, most people usually don't use Twitter. Uh, but it is very interesting uh, that uh, a lot of the news media and different stuff, I don't know if you noticed that uh, the death of Michael Jackson broke on Twitter. And just recently in Boston, the uh, Boston Police Department announced first on Twitter that they had captured that 19-year-old kid. So Twitter is quite popular for getting information out. Uh, and as you can see here, I used, uh, this is a uh, problem called TweetDeck, which is going away, but it allows you to have different columns, you know, in, in the feed. If you go on to Twitter, you just have your timeline of what's going on. 
But here I've got what people talking about, what other people, and I have, uh, and you can search by keywords. So if anybody happens to know me on on Facebook knows that I go to uh, Jethro's a lot to eat. And I have a search set up in my Twitter just every time someone mentions or talks about Jethro's, it shows up. Uh, and that's the reason you see the hashtags being used or different topics. So anytime, you know, you can even search on a star or a topic. It's very interesting if you, uh, you know, you don't want to read through everybody, but you, you, you following somebody like uh, uh, J.R. Raphael, I don't know if anybody follows him on uh, Computer World, that writes an awful lot about uh, Android devices. And you can just follow him and uh, see what he's saying. And again, what this is, is 140 characters. And it will tell you briefly what is going on. It will give you a link, and then you can go to the website to uh, get further information. Um, and a lot of newspapers, you can follow a newspaper. This way, you get the headlines of what's going on <coughs> without having to get the, uh, the whole paper. Uh, you can follow CNET, PC World, uh, genealogy. I mean, there are interesting ways of getting information. And in my next presentation, we'll talk about ways of getting information off the web and into you to be able to use. But again, these are all devices and things that can be used on a multitude of different devices. Uh, so that if you you can use this on your phone, your tablet, your computer, your laptop, you know, whatever you want to get the information, it's going to be right at your fingertips. And it's a two-way street. Here again, if you like something you see, you pass it on to your friends. So that's the social part of this. Uh, okay, YouTube. Okay, uh, hopefully everybody knows that uh, that the APCUG has a YouTube site. Okay, and these are not music videos. Uh, these are uh, presentations made from past conferences. Uh, there's a lot of good presentation up that Francis has done, Jim's done, Huey's done, and uh, even a couple I did. I was I found out that uh, Bill James from Oklahoma, he's getting mentioned quite a bit here, uh, speaker didn't show up. So he went on to the a APCUG uh, website and found a presentation that I did that was up there, and he showed that to his user group. So if you're looking for presentations, there are a lot of good presentations you can give in just a video. And if you heard part of... Uh, uh, Judy Tolura's presentation. This is a good uh, way if the speaker doesn't show up or you got a short presentation or some of these you can you can make a meeting out of, of two presentations and hopefully that will be coming more video tutorials and we're looking at hopefully one on how to use Facebook and how to friend people on Facebook. Uh, we're also looking how to uh, get information from from Twitter. There's a program called uh, uh, iPaper that you can use. So there are many different things. But here, there are many different presentations you can look and f get information. And even not APCUG. I mean, a lot of people want to know, you can go in and find uh, videos about how to do most anything. You just got to do a, a search on YouTube on you know how do you uh, repair a uh, a Dell uh, you know 1500 printer and there's probably someone got a video out there on that uh, you know how do you how's the best way of, of cleaning uh, bird poop off your car you probably get a you know probably have a whole bunch of videos and stuff on how people do that so I'm sure that these are things that you can find and then after the video, you can comment, and you can say this was a very helpful video. It told me what I needed to know, or this video didn't do anything. So it, you can get the feedback of what, what's going on.
Um, that, um, okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, I was going to say, I'm waiting. Does anybody have any questions about what's going on? Uh, Jim Evans' Facebook presentation. I do not know, Mary, uh, about that, but uh, did you put, if you put your email in earlier in the chat, I will have uh, somebody look, and we can, I'll get back to you and give you the link. Or if you're not sure, you can go to APCUG uh, videos on, on YouTube and find out. Uh, I know we're trying to get one updated, uh, to get one out. Okay. We, I got that in here, Mary, and I will get that after the uh, chat. And uh, as soon as Francis sends me a copy, we'll get the answer out to you on that. Any other questions? I'm sort of running out of things. Um, how many people, uh, as I said, does anybody in here on uh, Google Plus? Okay, Steve wrote, do I use Google Plus? Yes, I do. Um, APCUG does have a Google Plus page. It's not used very much. Uh, I have a Google Plus page. And uh, again, Google Plus is another way of following different individuals. And a lot of people will cross-post. So you have to be careful uh, about what you're doing. You might get a couple different things. But they'll post the same article on Google+, Facebook, and on Twitter. Uh, most people I know start off, do the posting on uh, Google+, and have it cross-post on uh, Facebook and Twitter. But uh, Google+, is sort of like Facebook, in the sense you've got hang Hangouts, uh, which you can have a, a, you know, you can have a small chat, get your friends together, to chat about a different subject. Also, you just you post different interests, what's going on, and a good thing about that that it has that Facebook has caught up a little bit on is the ability to have what they call circles in Google Plus. So you put your friends in circles, so you can find out what's going on. Uh, again, it's all like Google, but you can interact within the circle, so you can have computer tech. You could have uh, your friends on uh, knitting, uh, your your home friends. So you don't have to, when you post, uh, when you post something on Facebook, <coughs> excuse me, it goes to everybody that has your Facebook page. But on Google Plus, let's say if you want to share some information about your family, you know, that your granddaughter uh, lost her first tooth. You can post that on Google Plus and, and have that just go to your family circle. The only people that would be interested in getting information uh, about your, your personal life or what's going on or is getting it. You're not sending it to everybody that wants information about tech. So you can uh, talk about that. If you're sharing information on, let's say you collect uh, antique cars. And you can have a circle of your friends that are in, interested in antique cars. So when you share it, you're sharing it with them, and you're not sharing with the whole world because a lot of people know when you're reading Facebook, there's an awful lot of time some traffic about stuff you really don't care about. Uh, but your, your, some of your friends would, would, would care about or... So this way you can take and make your information, uh, you know, a little bit more targeted on the way you're doing it. Yeah. So uh, go from there. Um, how many people, as I said, does anybody use any of the, the photo service like Instagram? I don't know. You know, you can post pictures to uh, Facebook so your friends can see them. You can tag them. 
now you can start tagging people in Instagram. And uh, that is a way of sharing pictures so that you're friends and you can look at useful pictures. Um, okay. Now, again, the Flickr at some other places, as it said, uh, YouTube, uh, no, uh, Google, I think, had a Picasso, and I think they moved that into Google Plus where you can share pictures over there, too. Uh, a lot of these sites, uh, you can uh, will take the pictures and information, and you can share them through Dropbox, uh, Evernote, and some of the other places. <coughs> and as I said, I'll put a plug in for after my presentation that Francis is going to be a, uh, uh, giving a presentation on uh, web storage, cloud storage, and comparing some of the places. And there's an awful lot of programs out there that do some of the same things. Uh, I mean, there are different Facebook readers out there, uh, especially when you get on the phone. There's a program out there for Android and uh, iOS that's called Scope that you can read uh, your, your Foursquare, your Facebook, and your Twitter all in one feed and then respond and search and interact without that, without having to go to each one individually. Uh, so, I mean, if you, if you happen to go on iOS or if you're on your, your iPad or your iPhone or your Google tablet or your Android tablet, uh, you know, there are many different programs to, re to read Twitter at. Twitter is trying to get rid of them. They want you to use their program which is as not as interactive and to get the information to sometimes. Uh, a lot of businesses have programs. Hootsuite is one of the biggest for businesses to be able to use Twitter and Facebook, and they put it all in, in one platform so you can get the information. So you can see what everybody's talking about without having to go to a whole lot of different spots. But uh, that is for another presentation. Uh, would, okay, would I consider using a, a blog social media? Uh, yeah, as I said, if you wait, <clears throat> a lot of sites use blogs. Uh, Mashable and a lot of the other sites, you know, have what they sort of blogs, they put up articles, and then you can share those with other individuals. Uh, Posterious is closing down. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bad cold. Uh, Tumblr is one of the uh, the popular ones. Blogger is, is trying to get back in the mix. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with that. Uh, but there are a lot of places and in, in different websites that, uh, that the bloggers use, whether they uh, have their own site or use somebody else's. But a lot of people post it. Um, it's a lot of different websites. WordPress. It's a very popular way to people to put up a, a, a website and a blog, and then you go back to uh, and you post different stuff to social media. Uh, that's a good part because if you've got a thought or an article or something you'd like to share, then you just put in the you know the first couple you know one line sentence. You know this is my uh, opinion of the recent. Uh, birth of the, you know, the baby turtle at the local zoo, and you post it, and then you can have some several pictures, and on your blog, the people are interested in, go and find out. So, and again, then on the blog, you have the way of interacting of people to be able to comment on that, so what's going on. So it's a, it's a two-way street, and uh, if you have something interesting to say, uh, then that's fine. Uh, and I think on a, on a new website, we're going to be a habit so people can put up articles. And, you know, you can use it just like you're writing a, a newsletter article, but it's, it's a little bit more social. Um, going back here, I'm running a little faster than I thought. Okay, here's just a, a little joke. I don't know if you can read this. I'll read this to you. Uh, if you post a mom's Facebook wall, dad's in a social graph, so you have double the eyeballs on your current content right there. 
cross-posted Twitter at peak hours to hit grandma, aunts, uncles, the babysitter. You've got to listen for sentiment around your name. There's an opportunity for conversation there, but you've got to commit. Do you want to see big RRI? And the kid says, hmm, I really just scream when I usually poop on my pants. So they can, um, so as I said, it's really funny about the different stuff. Uh, okay, and okay. It looks like, uh, Mary, that there was uh, several, that Roger Tesh went and looked, and there are some, uh, uh, Greater Stephen had some presentations uh, on Facebook that he's done at the Greater Cleveland. And if everybody goes down to the chat, uh, slide share net, they got some presentations um, from there. And then two of them on Facebook. Um, are there any more questions? I'm sort of rambling here, but I want to be able to have anybody have any specific questions. Okay, we'll go back here. Uh, and let you see this about possibly being overconnected on social media. So I'll leave this up for a while. And, you know, let us know if you'd like a, a particular um, presentation just on Facebook, just on Twitter, or some of these other things going on. And uh, maybe we can get them put in a future uh, show, future presentation. Okay. Now I'm running out of talking, and usually this presentation goes a lot better when you have interaction and questions. But hopefully that uh, by doing this that I can at least show you the value of interacting with, with social media. Again, you don't have to belong to Twitter or Facebook to, to do this. Uh, even emailing your friends, you're interacting and giving them information socially. It's a two-way street when you're sharing information. You can share information in email, or you can share it on Facebook. It's sometimes a little bit easier to, to get information out on, on Facebook, but you can do the same thing by sharing a URL through, through uh, email or even through texting. Uh, word of mouth, you, you know, you tell your friend, that, hey, is it a good article on CNET this morning? So there are many, many different ways of, of getting this out. And you know, just communicating with each other. You know, you, you're socially communicating. And with the, with the different devices, you could do it a whole lot more instantaneously if you want to get the information. Uh, you know, with your phones or iPads or tablets, you can have the information directly sent to you or you can find out what's going on. I mean, even there's some social media weather apps out there too that you can interact with. So there are a lot of different programs, but hopefully I've given you a little bit of time of where you ought to look into this and why you ought to uh, participate. Uh, Facebook is a good way of getting information, and I just want to put a plug in here that the APCUG does have a Facebook site, and we do post useful information. But you're not going to be able to get the information about some deals and what's going on if you don't participate. Um, there's a lot of times that the giveaways or special downloads for books or special videos you can look at that is only valid for a certain period of time. And, uh, you know, if you're not paying attention to what's going on, then you're not going to be able to take advantage of this. And you don't have to be a user group officer to subscribe to the APCUG website or to like it. You know, you could be just an ordinary member. But this is a, way, a good way of sharing information of what's going on and in the technology world. Uh, different devices. O'Reilly Media uh, posts a lot about a lot of good books. Uh, AVAS posts some deals. Uh, 
you know, a lot of different stuff and free giveaways happen all the time. Yeah. So, you know, in the days of mergers and stuff, you know, what's going on? So you need to keep track of what's going on and what's good for software and what people are using. Um, so, any other questions? Can you think of anything, Francis? <laughs> 